I want to share from a, a challenging book, to say the least, uh, called Inside Out by Larry Crabb. And this is what uh, I want to share with you. He said, when the fact is faced that life is extremely disappointing, the only way to make it is to learn to love. And only those who are no longer consumed with finding satisfaction now are able to love. Only when we commit our yearnings for perfect joy to a father we have learned to deeply trust are we free to live for others despite the reality of a perpetual ache? Hmm. Okay, so that doesn't seem too positive, right? That life is extremely disappointing that we have this perpetual ache. But listen, one of the things I think is so important for me, and maybe this will be for you, is for 35 years of my life, there was a lot of aching going on. There was a lot of issues that didn't get dealt with. There was a lot of disappointments that were happening in my life, but... I didn't want to face the reality of it, right? I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to feel that. I wanted things to be comfortable. I wanted to be, uh, I didn't want that to be the way that it was, right? So you work, you numb out on certain things that aren't good. You try to make your life work incredibly well. And you, you know, you do all these things. You go to the wrong things. And I'm not sure if you experience this or if you know of anybody that does this. But listen, life is disappointing. It's not meant to be easy. We live in a fallen world. There is that ache. They talk about it in Romans. Paul talks about that, that, that groaning inside that we have to one day be with our Heavenly Father. And until that day happens in this fallen world, there's going to be emptiness. There's going to be loneliness. There's going to be that that ache that we have inside of a place that we really and how we were designed to, to be. But so often what happens in our Christian faith and our Christian world is we think that, you know, if we go to church enough, if we read our Bible enough, if we just do more Bible studies and we this and that, that everything's going to work out fine. But tell that to somebody that does all that and then they end up with a terminal um, disease. Tell that to somebody that, you know, does all those things and then, um, you know, maybe one of their kids commit suicide. How, how, how can you explain that, right? And that's where the mystery comes in, right? And some things can't be explained. But I think that's where we get off and we think that, okay, this life should be easy and I shouldn't feel these disappointments. And why is this happening here on this earth? And it is disappointing. It is disappointing. Now listen, we don't want to walk around being disappointed. We don't want to walk around uh, you know, ho hum and 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 woe is me. That's not what I'm saying, and that's not what Larry Crab is saying as as well. But I feel it's more coming to the reality that life is hard, that life is challenging. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. So what do we do? What do we do about it? And I think what we do about it is is we learn to live in the moment. We learn to be grateful for those small things we have. We don't look for certain things to fill something that can't be filled, right? Only God can fill that, that, that deep inside our soul. And one day it will be 100% filled. But what it does, I feel, is in, in life, with these things that we experience, with these things that we go through, it really incredibly pulls us towards a desperation of a need for a lovingly, loving heavenly father that accepts us for who we are no matter what we do and loves us our our past future present sins are forgiven and and when we stop putting so much in this world right for satisfaction for that joy to fill up that emptiness where we often go to the wrong things to do that when we stop doing that and and we 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 walk hand in hand looking and being with our Heavenly Father every single day, we can then move through, and this is very important, I feel, learning to love others, right? It moves away from us, our self-centeredness, to others' centeredness. And this is very, very important, guys. This is very important because what we do, God calls us to, to love God and to love others. And and. And us being in this fallen world, us going through these pains that just is because we live in a fallen world, right? It's because we are not perfect people that we hurt. Me as a husband, I try to be a great father, but I try to be a great um, 
you know, husband to my wife, but I, may, I mess up, I make mistakes, you know? My kids hurt me, I hurt my kids sometimes. I don't mean to, but we're not perfect. None of us, we have relationships, we, are, we have bodies that are breaking down, you know? No matter how much we work out or what we do, right? Eventually they're gonna go the other way. So what we need to do is, is, is love God, understand that through that pain, that closeness with him, that desperation that we have to be with him and to every single day and then to love others. And if we're self-centered, if we're focused on, oh, you know, this person should do that or they should behave this certain way until I love them correctly or we're just having a really, really bad day and life is hard, so therefore we're focused on ourselves and we can't love, we can't serve anybody else because we're just focused on on our issues and what we're going through. So really the trick I feel, and I don't know, I don't, you know, this is what I'm, I just started reading in this book, is to, to learn to love others through that ache. Learn to love others through the pain, right? Because then we, we take the focus off ourselves, we put it on our Heavenly Father, and then we put it on serving other people, which is what God has called us to do. Love God and to love others. And we take it off ourselves, we take it off, you know, well, whatever. We take it off ourselves. We're other centered. We're, we're God centered, and then we're focused on loving other people. And if we can do that, gosh, what, what amazing people that we can be while we're on this earth. You know, despite what goes on in our life, despite the hurt, despite the pain, despite the challenges, we can still be loving individuals to those around us. And that right there, that right there will make a difference. It'll make a huge difference. It'll show how much God is working in you. When those pains come in your life that are so hard, that are so challenging, that are so tough, that person says something to you, that person does something to you, Something happens in your life that you would have never wanted to happen to you. But you're still able to love others. You're still able to show the fruits of the Spirit and to be kind and patient and loving and gentle. And I mean, all those fruits, right? That's incredibly, incredibly powerful. And like I feel what Larry Crabb is saying, and I've gone on way too long in this video. If we can learn to love others through that perpetual ache, through the hardships in our life. If we can do that, it's pretty good. It's pretty powerful. So think about that.